Uh, I'm gonna do one of these intro things. My name is Noah Winter, and this is a video of a functional movement assessment and other assessments uh, conducted on the 18th of August, 18th, yeah, 2022. All right. My name's Noah. I'm gonna be your instructor, personal trainer. You know, you know the drill. Um, you know what I am. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do postural assessment. Um, this is postural assessment. I'm hoping I'm doing a postural assessment. I'll just double check my. Um, Static postural appraisal is what I'm doing. I'm also doing a functional movement and muscle activation assessment, a range of motion assessment, and a dynamic strength test, as well as a verbal discussion of the testing results. Okay. So, um, we've got, so this is the postural assessment. Um, so your, your name is, your name is Matt. Matt. Yes, so you don't need a last name. That is, I'll just put your last name here. Okay. Date of birth, 14th. 14th. Uh, it's 971. What is your occupation? Coordinator. Coordinator. Administrator. Administration, we'll just put that. Admin, because it can be both writing. What's the date today? 18th. The 8th. 2022. Ah, oh, static. Oh, we're doing the we're doing the static. Tick, tick the static. Um. Okay. Um. So I kind of need you to just to to. I'm probably gonna get you to take the shoes off and the jumper, and then if that's cool with you, um, and then I shall do the so I can get a, a good idea of what. what what uh, we're looking at <coughs> in terms of uh, pelvic stuff. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I just want to just sort of stand, pick a spot somewhere, and just sort of stare ahead. Right, you're in the shop. There we go. Okay. Okay. Just regular standing position. Hands by the side, please. Ow. <laughs> Brain myself. Um, um, it's okay. Yeah. What are you looking for exactly? Um, essentially, I'm sort of making sure everything's sort of symmetrical from side to side. Yeah. Um, essentially, any sort of um, a lot of spinal stuff um, yeah. that could indicate my scoliosis, etc. Um, you know, we may need to, any sort of, sort of anything that is going to actually yeah, essentially anything that's going to need referral to a GP or something okay. um, that could hamper us before we even start the um, functional movement stuff. Yes. So, um, like I said, we've got a slightly rounding, uh, mild rounding of both shoulders, um, and then your left 
uh, your left shoulder is slightly raised compared to your right. Um, it looks like your right sits more comfortably with that left one's up a tiny bit. Uh, and then the legs look all fine, so. Um, okay. So. That's the, yeah, you can. Functional movement now. Um, so, uh, we'll just set this piece of paper aside. Uno, page uno. Dos. Okay, so. What I'm gonna get you to do is I'm gonna get you to go through some of the basic movements uh, that uh, incorporate uh, what we call primal movement patterns. Sure. Um, so, it's all playing back to me now. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> all the knowledge of that thing uh, is coming back. Um, so, I'll just run you through what ones we've got. So, we've got the squat, the lunge, uh, deadlift with bent over row. Um, so, it's where you go from a deadlift into a bent over row. Um, a thoracic rotation single leg squat which I'm gonna say that you're is gonna given I know your flexibility. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna be uh, difficult. I'm gonna uh, go my and back my back's a little bit sore at the moment. My yeah. back I've got a bit of an injury there but I'll do my best. Overhead reach, an opposite arm to leg reach and then a push up at the end. So um, and then I'm going to, so I'm going to get you to do sort of uh, eight to ten reps of, of each of them. I'll obviously demonstrate them before you do it. Um, or until movement competency is achieved. Uh, until I can sort of assess everything. Yeah. Um, <coughs> um, so essentially I'm just going to be looking for uh, anything that might, not so much your form, because form we can fix up later. But anything that's going to indicate sort of again something where I'm going to have to refer you to like a PCL, etc. etc. Okay. So, um, so uh, so. Okay, okay. I'm actually just gonna leave that running because I don't edit. have to edit it. Yeah. It's fine. Genius. Okay. Um. So. Dos. That's actually just destructive and shit. Okay, okay. Um. Okay. So you can either have an unloaded bar or, or a dowel, uh, which we don't have dowel. So, have a normal bar or do I have something wrong? No, I have a bar. Sideways, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. You can fill it from like, I'll get you to do a few and then I'll get you to turn around because they want to fill it from multiple angles. Sure. So, breaking character. Ah, uh, so what I'm going to be looking for. So, keep it there, I'm just demonstrating here. Um, show feet slightly outside the shoulder width or as wide as you damn well please, as long as you're not doing like a sumo squat, you're doing this range of motion. Um, so, as, as wide as is comfortable, um, and then from there, um, I have toes. I prefer toes slightly pointed, slightly outwards. Um, it just allows you to use the tracker and much safer plane. It allows you to open up the hips a little easier. Mm -hmm. um, and then, essentially, and then you essentially drop the hips down and get into a squat position, and then come back up. 
go as low as you possibly can, and then come back up. I haven't told you to go yet. Can I do a practice? <laughs> you need me to go lower than that? Oh, oh god, yeah. You need to sit back on. Man, your... I can't go any lower. You need to sit. I'm you need... so. You need to sit back on your hips. You know, just do gentle with me. Gentle with me, because I'll probably fall over. Just hips back, hips back, hips back. Knees bend, bend, bend. Okay, that's not going to fucking work, is it? You've just got all I've got full range of motion. I've got flexibility. You've got some of the worst range of motion I've ever seen. <laughs> it's such a supportive PT, aren't they? <laughs> Uh, okay. So we'll just have to do... I'll just have to do them. Yeah, because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just up. terrible. I've just got terrible flexibility. <laughs> okay. We'll try it with a wider stance, maybe. Don't go too wide, because otherwise you're going to go... Otherwise, just, that becomes a sumo squat, and then it's just like... That try is, it there. It's a completely different movement. Okay. Okay. So, so bot, bot, eight yeah. to ten. Hey, how many of these are going to do? Eight to ten. Okay. Need to go. Okay. Knees in line with. Uh, and you can do the whole thing. Knees in line with the toes. Yes. No vertical pelvic dysfunction. Okay. You can come back up. You can. Yeah. I'm getting you to do repetitions. Ten of these. Yes. Stop. You, you don't want to see any more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the only one that we've got there is that your knees are in line with your feet. Okay. Everything else has failed. <laughs> um, yeah, as we can see in the capacity achieved, we've just gone, no, 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 yes. <laughs> So oh, it's just flexibility because of yes, flexibility. Yes, because tight. you're flexible. Yeah, and completely inflexible. Yes, um, because you need to. I mean, I. I mean, I can't even squat prop down to proper depth without actually having without my feet leaving the ground and such. Okay. Like I need squat shoes because I'm inflexible, but I also have legs, so like that gets in the way. Yes. Um. So that's like. And I'm have to tick this part or not. Um, hip mobility. No. I'm just gonna put I have to add these up at the end of the Okay. Hip mobility. One. Lumbar mobility. Thoracic mobility was fine. Thoracic was bad. Okay. Um, okay. Next up is a lunge. Okay. Um, so, so, take a. You can. So many ways you can do this. Um, you know, take a kind of similar stance, and then just take one stride. Oh, God. I don't even know if you can do this. Oh, my knees. Can I oh, can I, can't kneel though, can I? No, no, you, you can't just like completely come to a stop. Constant tension has to be applied. You can take as long or as sort of short a stride as you want. I think it's just kind of like That's a, a pretty good a, one. A middle, a kind of the middle of the road kind of stride is going okay. to be good. Um, I haven't told you to go yet. Either. That's always practicing. Okay. Um, so I'll do, do it this way so they can see on the camera. Yeah, back in neutral number. I'm looking for some different savings. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Commence. Okay. One 
four legs later than you done. Boom! That's a good one. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's very good. Okay, so that's my, uh, I know I'm good at that. Yes. Ankle mobility is actually all right. It's just your hips that suck. Hips are a bit ball. tight from all the walking we've done, I think. The hips? My hips are quite sore at the hips. moment. That's why I wasn't walking tonight. Um, lumbar hip mobility, you need a bit more of that. Lumbar stability is actually okay. Uh, thoracic is good. Ankle mobility is actually fine. So, hip mobility is why I'm just going to put one for all your hip stuff because it's just your hips that just suck. Because you're like 50 and you need to replace. Um, Lumbar stability, fine. Lumbar is one of my favorite one of these. Uh, uh, speak up still. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to talk to myself. They don't really need to hear this. This is my, this is thinking. Okay. This is my brain. This is my brain talking. Uh, and knee mobility was fine. Um, okay, so it looks like your hips are going to be what we need to work on. Uh, okay, so deadlift, to, deadlift with bent over rope. So I'll actually demonstrate this one. Um, bar. Uh huh. Unloaded bar. No need for. Whack anyone in the face. Especially you don't. Yep. So, again, same as with everything. You could probably guess it by now. Hips and fucking knees and all this shit in one. But Fucking shoulders. Um, <laughs> I see. You say it nice. I'm a customer. <laughs> this is, this is nice. Um, but yeah. Ow, oh, this hurts my knees. Um, you know, go down for a deadlift. Keep your back straight. Hips on the ground. Ow, my knee. Okay. And then you, then you come back up. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of hinge. And then you bent over row. Okay. And then you come back down. And then you come back up. And then you go back down for the deadlift. Okay. Ah. I'm over this. Don't want to do this anymore. Are they okay? I'm just doing practice right. Yeah, yeah. I will go all the way down because you're meant to move because if there's plates under there. So yeah, doesn't have to go all the way down. So I can start here. Yes. Well, that's the key double double position. Okay. Stop just rounding us back. Why not? Yeah, you got to bend. Yeah, you got to bend over more. So push your hips. Push your hips back. And bend down. Yes. And then it goes push cut. Yeah. And keep the shoulders straight. The back yeah. straight. Is that good? Can't tell you yet because I'm doing an assessment. Bad, indifferent. Um, not too bad. <laughs> it's, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. 
as you've done. Okay. The whole holding it here, and then get it's like you know what I mean? Like you're, you're holding it. You're like holding well, there's it no weight in it, so it's a bit hard to sort of you keep your arms straight, and then you bend over, and then you and, and then you come back up, and then you keep your arms straight, and then you bend over, and then you bend to do the row. Um, okay, lumbar stability was actually fine. Your lumbar was actually good. Uh, knee stability was good. Uh, your knees were fine. Thoracic mobility was fine. Um, and then your scap was good to work. Okay. Um, Next. And then your thoracic rotation. So I'm gonna get you the bench. It'll be one long ass video. See the dead hunter in here? Who's there? Sure, there's a better bar bell or gal. It's a bed on my shoulders. I can't remember. Um, I think you've got to. Let me see how hard it is before you do it. Don't break anything. I should definitely get it away. See if that makes any difference. to the second page, uh, single leg squat. Um I'm just gonna cross single leg squat out. I'm just gonna. Re- Maybe I'll try and stand up with one leg. Yeah. Alright, no, that's not gonna. I can't do that. Alright, we'll just cross single leg squat out. We'll go. Okay. Put the head. 
Yeah. Spain, you might be able to try it if I hang on to something. No, 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 because it needs to actually be like that balance and shit too. That's a, that's a king's deadlift, that is. Yeah, I'm not going to get, um, that's a, that's a king's deadlift, I'm not sure if you know what that is. No, I'm not going to get past, I'm not going to get very far down. Yeah. Well, just, uh, overhead reach. Um, so, I'm trying to essentially want to come up like this. And it's going to be past the top. That's cool. That was all good. That was all. Didn't that? Alright, so now we might want to get that. Potentially it's a dead bug, but it's like oh yeah, we'll okay. I'll take a reverse dead bug. Yep. Oh, which one to get right? Like this. Yep. Okay, I've done this before. Cool. Is that to do them sideways, or is it okay there? Nah, it's alright there. It should be. No, sorry, it's the, 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 the wrong way. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. Right there, but. So it's like. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. I don't have to do it that quickly, do I? Nope. It's just testing flexibility. Yeah, where's the pain though? So your lumbar was gone. Yeah. I need the bit. Um, lumbar was good. One. But the scapula was good. Neutral spine. One. Thoracic. Scap was good. Two. The pelvis absolutely did not hit my belly. Is one. <laughs> Do eight. Okay. We 
do it on the neck or you can do it on the floor? Uh, whichever floor comfortable. I said, which other piece that work? <laughs> can I do them fast, slow, and different? Um, doesn't matter. As long as I can just sort of, just so that we can get through this. <laughs> I might just do it on the floor, I think. Only once. How's that? Can do two more if you want two more. Yeah, can you just show me what this is? I want to see the scout. was good surprisingly um spot not spine they barely knew showing your the neck was where your head position was, was wasn't great but the rest of the spine was good so i'm going to tick yes so i'm going to head so far forward yeah you had it had it down which throws out this uh, spine, spine. Well. okay um no obvious and the scapula there's no obvious scapula meaning there so that was pretty good um shoulders were neutral and not hitched uh, there was some shoulder hitching in there. Um, What's there. shoulder hitching? Essentially, where it like kind of it's like a grab point. Like okay. It will like you can see it like you sort of go. Like, yeah. Okay. Sort of like you can tell it comes from the shoulder. Um, where there's like yeah, it's like a, it's almost like a jerk. Yeah. Coming through from it um, because there's like a, a grab point. Um, uh, hips stable and aligned with trunk. I tip no because your hips were going. Yeah. Okay. So the hips my problem by the sounds of things. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then head neutral and in line with shoulders, which no. No. Uh, <laughs> we explained that before. So um, lumbar stability was in, um, in this one, and this was all good. Uh, lumbar stability still one. Shoulders. Thoracic was uh, interesting on that one. Uh, hips stable and in line with trunk hips one um, and then lumbar one um, uh, all right now I shall add them up um, and then we'll come back to get the total um, yes, you may, if you so wish to do so. Um. I'd actually leave the mat out, but we're gonna we're gonna need it for the other bits and bobs. The other stuff we've done before. Um, so, uh, so we don't need the. You don't need this? No. So ankles and your knees are good. Surprisingly. Hip mobility. Oh, what are you doing? That's, we need that. So essentially the way we do it is like it's, it's like the 
opposite of golf, which everyone scores the high. Actually, it's kind of like golf, which whoever scores the highest loses. Okay. So, um, that's what we're doing now. So your, so, so far your hips have eighteen. Um, Your lumbar has 11. Uh, your thoracic has 4. And your scapula has 4. So, so your, your ankles have 0. So the ankles and knees are 5. Um, hip mobility is 18. That's, they need most work followed by your lumbar, which is your lower back. Yep. Um, they're actually quite tight, actually tying quite well together. So those two can sort of almost be relieved at once in appropriate measures. Uh, and then the thoracic and your scap, which again are a little bit tight in as well. So yep. uh, that's how we're done. Um, Is this all part of the same video? Yep. Yeah. Told you it's a long video, what's the problem? Six thirty PM APSS stage one. I'll pull that and move it back. Um well, I think low low risk. Low risk, if increments, none. Uh, main joint was the hips, was the main joint we're focusing on. Secondary joint was lumbar. Corrective strategies. Um, um, I already looked that up. Okay, so hips. Hip rotations. And then activation. Activation, probably gonna be something with a band, like a um, adductor, um, adductor pull apart kind of thing. Uh, let's see if they give the actual name.
tabletop heel lift there you go that's the one i'm talking about Table. essentially it's where you kind of get down on the head and knees like you did before yep so kick it up and have the knee still in a 90 degree oh right so okay there we go yep and sort of activate a big loop the hip then um Yes. Um, and then number Superman's for that one. So essentially, there's an activation. So you essentially get the you your hands above your head, you lie down, and then you essentially have this stretch. You're basically trying to lift your hands and everything you're using. Yep. Yep. Do you want me to do them now? No, no, I'm just sort of explaining them to you. Um, yes. That's that one done. Okay. And lastly, a range of motion. Uh. Okay, range of motion. Uh, hip flexion. Alright, um, so. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me you lie on the ground, hands by your side, and then you raise the leg as high up as you can get it. Okay. Both sides. And then okay. degrees. Can you do it one that way or that way? Uh, whichever way is more comfortable. I think it's probably best to do it this way because you can see how bad it might be. This is going to be it. I'll tell you now. This isn't going to go well. Are you ready? Uh, no. Oh, you alright? Okay, right, so we'll do this side first. Okay. When you're ready, raise your right leg. Raise my right leg? Yes. Ready, raise your other leg. That's actually got better range of motion. Yeah. Alright. Uh, that's cool. Um, yeah, now show the flexion test. Um, we're going to have to spin this around because you won't have enough room to sit the same way. And then put your arms back like, actually, so I just move this out of the way. Stretching your arms and feet that way. 
Yep, we'll do it. Okay. Okay. There so you this go. is the Superman one. No, no, no. Line on your back. As oh, well. line back with hands out. Okay. Yep. Reverse Superman. My hands have to touch the floor. Um, if, with your arms straight, if they can. Don't have a chin up bar anymore. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Or a max body weight squat. Those are your options in this situation. What's the maximum body weight squat? Essentially, you do as many body weight squats as you can. It's just a failure. Looks like I have to do them then, aren't I? Because I took the chin up bar down. I didn't think we needed it anymore. Okay. So, just Squats. How many will we do? Until I can't do any more. Stable, stable surface. So you can't do any more. Yeah. With correct technique. Would you like some plates to stick under your heels so you can hit them better? Well, that's that that's uh, make it easier. It doesn't make it easier, it's just allows you to get the full count. Oh, this is going to take long. Hmm? 
This isn't going to take long. Good. Test the results. Yesterday. Can you do more? Hey? So can you do more? I can. Let me keep going. What's the point? The hips are really sore. That's good. It's actually that's not good. Um <laughs> toasting my hips. Uh where's the <sighs> I'm doing 30, I'm not doing any more. My hips hurt. Ah, cool. Uh that right. hurts. It's only for demonstration purposes only, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. I did 130 then. Look. Testing. Maybe now. Hope they enjoy hour long videos. So uh, once I find out this, then it's fine. Then we're done. Keep going here. Stop. Can I put these away? Right there. Body weight squat test. Okay. So your age range is. Uh, 50 50 to 59 okay so you are in the excellent range okay what's um what's the scale so if you look here we go to males okay. 50 to 59 excellent is 26 or above oh there you go so i need to do 26 or above yes okay. i didn't know that <laughs> um, 30 okay okay so getting over these results um, I'm going to stand up here so we can shot yeah uh, So, small wrap up. So, uh, we noticed in the postural assessment that you had mild rounding of both shoulders and your left shoulder was slightly raised above the uh, other shoulder. Yes. So, that, that's, that's fine. 
Um, pretty much it learns that. So that's don't expect that you can do corrective strategies. I don't have to refer you. Um, in terms of skipping, 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 skipping it. Uh, we covered all the squat, how that needs to work, or you, essentially how your hips and your lumbar is the main focus of what we need to work on. Um, out of all those functional movement stuff. Yep. Um, in terms of the hamstring flexibility, uh, your hamstrings and hip flexibility needs work, but that we established that before. Yes. Um, your knees are fine, uh, and, and your your sort of your uh, scaps and your thoracic spine, that's fine. Um, and then uh, your your testing results are good too. Okay, that's so, good. Um, it's just the hips. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, it's hips flexibility and, in the hips and the lumbar. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. That's all right.